Draft something nice and frisky. What should I draft? The last draft of the season. <laughs> Tali seems like a start, huh? This fucking freaky dinosaur. Hey, real Rankler, and thanks for the 10 bucks. Appreciate it. Tali Doomsday? Oh my. <laughs> How do you feel about this through the breach? The cool thing about playing through the breach here is not only does it let me play the Atali sooner, it also kind of makes me want to play like a bunch of Emrakuls and shit to hit with my Atali. Kind of feels like it all works together pretty well, huh? Oh baby, a triple. Kind of dig Oliphant. Could take Raffalos. Just copy our last opponent. I take to, tend to like Oliphant in these Sting Attack style decks. We don't actually have the Sting Attack yet, though. It is a land that's also like a 6 4 for Atali hits. Let's take the Raffalos. Let's jam it. It's not a very high commitment pick, right? We can abandon it pretty easily. Channel? Alright, never mind. This was, this was genius. Exactly what we were looking to do, huh? Just perfect. I hope we get a, not just some like nice duels like Taiga and such, but Yavamaya would be sweet. Combine with this for fellows, huh? Nice little green red chunk. Yeah, a little bit. Little chunkers. Caleb and the Chonky Boys. That'd be a good band name. Not necessarily Hot Links. There's a lot of cards that compete with Channel. And some people just don't want to play that kind of deck or want to avoid green, that sort of thing. For example, a lot of people would take like a, like a Mana Drain or maybe even a regular counter spell over it. Or Thoughtseize or Reanimate. Atraxa. Who knows, right? Who knows? Fourth Aerolingus. So Ugin's a good one to channel into, but it's not very good with Through the Breach. Whereas Gruff Triplets is pretty good with Through the Breach. We'll do these triplets. Triplicate Titan, Gruff Triplets. We got a theme going. We'll snag this here, Ren. Fable Saga, yeah, yeah, yeah. Skull Clamp. Tons of good cards. So we passed a, um, we could pass the Companion earlier that plays with this Basalt Monolith. But like, the Monolith's good just in the stack, even if that Companion doesn't wheel. Zerda. Yeah, even if Zerda doesn't wheel, it's still ramping us to like this groovy, groovy bit of hotness on huh, the curve. Kind of the goal, right? Yeah, Quebec Tango. I only did that once. It's pretty sweet though. Not a ton of people have channeled into Nicol Bolas. Lumberjack in maybe. I'd Lumberjack. I'd Lumberjack right here on stream, right in front of everybody. A little ravine action. It really is good, Hot Links, you're not wrong. Some fun raw physicality <laughs> in that music video. <laughs> mm. And it must have taken them ages to shoot with all the stop motion in the middle. Titania Ren and Six, yeah, it could turn into something. Won't necessarily, but it could. The ICs you've lumberjacked out early. Oh, just like turn to IC manipulator. <laughs> I'll keep port you. <laughs> Was that the Zerda pack or are we coming up on it? It'd be a very late Zerda. It combines with Grim Monolith, not just Basalt Monolith and a few other things. Someone who is red or white might just grab it. And someone might grab it because they'd seen the Basalt Monolith going around. I'm like, oh, maybe that one wheels too. That said, 
I may have the monolith in the deck anyway. Hmm. I want to snag some water. I'm empty here. Yeah, I'll be right back. Let it do for the last pick. Oh shit. I might actually play that Nissa. Especially if I get Yabamaya for the Rafellos. What does this deck need? Sneak attack. Black Lotus, Emrakul, the Aeon's Torin. You think we're going to see the new Emrakul in cube? Six colorless might be a tall order. I wonder if that card's going to show up in Legacy at all. Soul Ring? Yeah, I'll drop that. Ulamog, of course, exciting with the channel, but Soul Ring's going to help me cast that through the Breach real fast. Probably a good thing LED doesn't mean colorless. Is looking like a banger. Could use some dualies, some tie action for Rafelos. It would be a sweet Orcish Lumberjack deck, as some people were talking about with that Titania and such. Fetches for the Ren would be nice. Actual draw engine would be good too. Not really an Academy deck. Sort of an Oath deck. I kind of hate it, though. I think I'm going to take this once upon a time. Yeah, I'm sick of Oath. Sick of Oath's shit. Prismatic Omen's good with Rafellos. Where's the fetch for Ren, at least? The Currency Converter is almost interesting as a filter. Yeah, fetch for Ren and a fetch for Titania. A couple of Horizon Lands, Magda, Sakura Tribe, Scout. I guess I'm just gonna take a Horizon Land here. Well, I'll draft the Magda. The Horizon Lands are just kind of awkward with her fellows. They're good with Ren, but they're awkward with her fellows. Good with Ren, good with Titanium. Possible I'm giving her fellows too much consideration. I'd like that Pyromancer for the filter, but I need good mana better. I need that double green on two, you know? Does Halfling do anything for me? Chariot, Titanium. It's also just a one drop, right? Like right now we just have Soul Ring. Questing Beast is tempting. Garrick's tempting. Uncounterable Atali. I mean, if you go Halfling into Basalt Monolith, that just gets you there turn three, right? Deck still needs an Emrakulm. Oh, shit, what up? Hey, Phil Belmont thinks the Saab needs the 62 months. Yeah, so far the channel's not looking amazing. We took a Soul Ring over that one, Eldrazi. Need a wheel for me. Wouldn't that be sexy? We've got the Through the Breach. we got the channel. Who else is going to want an Eldrazi? Late Night Caleb. Just a little bit kikiest. Just a little bit here. The last day of Vintage Cube. Why not? Hmm, haven't channeled into a fourth yet. The sneak attack players? Nah, we're gonna get the sneak attack. That's our card. No, we would take that card from me. Kinda hate this apprentice. Unless we get like Skull Clamp or something. It's starting to look like Skull Clamp would be reasonable. Use my little draw engine. Alright, we got some good cards. But it hasn't quite gelled yet. At least like one more good thing for channel. Hey, QB Wheel. Don't hate that. Don't hate that. Yeah, I'll draft a Chrome Mox. Or do I need this Natural Order? Am I competing with someone else for that Natural Order? There's a Hoof and a Triplets. Man, I want that Chrome Mox, though. 
God damn it. What's up, Sneak? All right, now we have the Sneak that's through the Breach and the channel. Just a little bit more top end, Tom. Huh? Emmy come home, yeah, right? Emmy would really tie it all together. There's even one more Eldrazi after that, right? So they re-edited the 10 drop. I think we've only seen the 11 one this draft. Unless my drafts are blurring together. You wouldn't kick a wheel out of bed. How many things are you kicking out of bed? Hey, Possum Puncher, thanks for the sob, thanks for the 36 months. Taking time off your busy day of punching possums. Suppose I'll draft a Hexy, huh? We have not seen a Minsk. Your cats when they have poofy paws. Yes, Emmy! Oh my god. It's so good. It's so beautiful. The channel gets so much better. The sneak attack gets so much better. The through the breach gets so much better. All right, now we're just missing a good Taiga for the Arid Mesa. Could play Wasteland with the Ren. I'll grab it just in case. Nothing wrong with a little bird's action. Blood Crypt with the Arid Mesa fetch a red source. It's pretty good. Pretty important. I think I like Manglehorn for the cyborg. Either that or Pyrokinesis. Maybe it should be the Pyrokinesis, even though we don't have that many red cards. It's a good sideboard card. The Safekeeper plays well with Titanium. I think I prefer the Research Desk. Or maybe Hearse. The Talisman's not bad, but we've got a bunch of Mana Dorks and stuff. Hey, Kiltrocity thinks the $4.20. Yeah, never got a Taiga. I think I just straight up don't play the Rufellos. Sweet. Kind of have a deck, huh? Really play Bone Crusher over the Red and Six. And then don't place the Wasteland and have a little bit better mana. Yeah, the horizon, the horizon land's not actually kind of awkward with channel. We're trying to channel for fifteen. Life total could matter, right? Could really matter. Maybe endurance makes more sense than the giant, just for the the natural order. Just one more green creature. Maybe it's better than the fireball. Just for the main deck, hum. This kind of reminds you of Daft Punk. Yeah, I can see that. Same era-ish, right? Kind of dig this Metamorphose. Hmm. I don't need that Carnosaur. That's part of it, Harmon. It's also just like at the stage of the game where we need to be doing the thing. But yeah, it's way worse than just like an actual filtering card. I mean, this one can also exile the top end. Mm, release Research Desk can like help you hit the land drops to do the stuff. Escape's just showing up. A bit late. A bit late to the party. Cause you want it through the breach or um or sneak plus activate on that right on that stage. Yeah, Titania not not doing a lot here. This would be 11 green sources and 7 red. Not counting once upon a time. 
I think that's fine. Definitely needed that turn one green source. But we also need double red earlier for sneak plus activate. Maybe it should be six red sources. Maybe 12 greens better. I kind of hate this opener. One issue with this type of hand is that we don't have like a lot of filtering. Like Fable and such to churn through and get things rolling. Getting Hexstringer down underneath counter magic. Hopefully it can fade. Some removal. Sometimes Hexstringer just wins, huh? Not the worst only threat to have. Sure. Possibly Elder should have served here too. Attack for five instead of just four. I think copying birds makes sense. The workshops doesn't activate to pump the hex drinker. So if they copy hex drinker and try and race, they just die real fast. Do we clear Karn? Or do we tank them? I think we tank them. Four mana burden? I mean, it's two mana, right? Well, that might have been a nice rip. Now, whatever artifact blockers they make will come into play tapped. Sit down, ticking Karn isn't very good, very good here. Yeah, very happy to pa pass them the ancient tomb there, hum. Karn up ticking again. Not sure about that, giving them the gush. Could end up being super wrong. Noise. Get that ma Manglehorn showing up there, huh? Helps like slice a turn off the clock. Could play Wasteland for factory or workshops. That Nissa on the top end can down tick and to disenchant. I think I like Nissa over the Endurance. Felt like we had plenty of mana go in that game. Maybe where fellows should be in over the Bone Crusher Giant. Forest, please. Yeah, I was thinking birds and Eska's chariot and through the breach crater hoof might be sweet. We rip a green source next turn. We're still playing the chariot on three. Still the curve from our opener. Alright, we haven't created a green source yet, but if we draw a green source next turn, then I won't break down crying on stream. So that'll be good. That's worth looking forward to. Talisman, good, good. Hey, there we go. Had it the whole time. I wonder what the odds are through the breach resolving. We got a hotter one than Crater Hoof here now. Prince got a lot of mana rolling.
little unfortunate that the Annihilator from Trigger from Emrakul resolves before we get the Coveted Jewel. I could just attack with the birds, right? It's kind of cute. Serve with birds, get the jewel. Oh no! <laughs> I've been debated! Ah! Well, I guess if I threw the breach here, then they click me in response. And that wouldn't have gotten there either. Oh, they took the natural order, but they're blocking my birds, right? Well, that's a lot of mana. This clone their coveted jewel. Emerald is starting to look not very good. Yeah, the issue with Emmy here, one of the issues is that like they're happy to sack hang your back and then they have plenty of blockers for it. it. Doesn't really put a dent into their mana and stuff. I don't think Hoof does very much here either. I might be breaching in Gruff triplets. And then Sherry can copy a triplet. Yeah, we threw the breach in Emrakul. They activate Hanger Back. It goes up to four, right? And they sack one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Whatever. You know, they just got like a bunch of stuff here they don't care about. And then a one-one blocks the Emrakul. Just doesn't matter. We don't get any board presence from it. They decided to give me two coveted jewels, huh? That's interesting. Now that's very fucking interesting. So we can sneak attack and sneak in Manglehorn and Triplicate Titan. Just get a bunch more stuff. I think that's the strat here. We do have to use this mana now. We can't sneak it end of turn or whatever. I actually wonder if this construct token matters. Maybe I'm supposed to take Candelabra or something. Hit them in the mana. Blow up a jewel. I kind of don't hate that. Don't love it. Don't hate it. Yeah, I only have one flyer, so those, that's the amount they need to send to draw their three cards. Mm. 
No, we just pumped their Sir Ginger. We followed into their trap. Next turn, I like leading on Manamorphose. Get two more red mana. Stinking Halfling, Stinking Emrakul, Stinking Hoof. Seems like plenty of hoof damage now, huh? Now that we've spent a turn juicing up our board. 30-30 Emmy. Uh, close. 26-26, right? I guess we could draw more things. Cryptic? Yeah, I mean, Cryptic would kill me right here, right? Or would have. I guess they just drew the three off the jewel, so they might have drawn it off that. Revoker, Brutal. The chosen card is Sneak Attack. How many answers to a Revoker do I have? Very few. <laughs> Not what the deck's set up to do. We already burned through the Breach. Channel would let us cast the Hoof. Channel or Soul Ring. Off the Metamorphose Cantrip. So we have two draws towards the two of. It's like a 1 in 11. Bummer. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, Manamorpho is such that uh, if I drew into a channel, I could channel into Hoof, and then I just cast the ones about on time with my mana floating, not thinking nary a brain in my mind as to what this once upon a time could hit. But yeah, Bone Crusher Giant on the Revoker. If I had left one more red up, hum. If I'd played the once upon a time off double green. Well, foot. Do we just pass? Should probably be attacking. Oh, how many blockers do they have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They'd have to block literally everything. I mean, that seems good for me, right? And then I guess we can even be sure they don't have enough critters. I should have played the stomp. Oh, that's not a that's not gonna answer. Eh? The stomp, but it will give them one more blocker. Eh? The constructs are big. The constructs are big. They do get smaller as they like have to block literally everything, right? So there's at least two thopters here. We can right chan, yes. <laughs> Assuming that uh, they don't block everything, but they did. Fair enough. I think this works for me, too. We do not get an untapped jewel. If we got an untapped jewel, we would have activated sneak attack mid combat. Yeah, if they hadn't had a, a the flash subtlety hum to get one more blocker, then we would have gotten the jewel and gotten to do the thing. Pumper stuff mid combat. But yeah, I think next turn we just have the win. If they don't do something real juicy here. I think I'm gonna give them the show and tell here. Yeah, the Grizzle Brand would have been or the, the Golus would have been able to play plus Sank. They were just missing a color and then the Monk's Opal. Play plus activate, I mean. You know what I mean. Been a long day for old Caleb here. Looks like a keep to me, huh? Yeah, Chillis has been sweet. 
It's kind of cool that the um, chariot gave us an extra copy of that game. Left us with like 18 power on board. This lets me beat a um, Manatide next turn. Or a Thalia Hum. It's also going to give the uh, Emrakul Exalted something of a combo there. I don't think I've ever wanted my opponent to play a Caracas and bounce my Emrakul more in my life. But it is just very much what I want here. Um, yeah, red-green time walks right here. Um, That kind of rules. They probably have stuff for me to Manglehorn. I'm trying to up the red count for the Pyrokinesis. Especially here on the draw, hum. You did dismiss Channel Emrakul, yes. I think I dig it. We're on the draw. Once upon a time, finds me a land. Metamorphose cantrips. We have a shock and a fireball. I don't know if I'm supposed to get land or elves or, uh, or land here. Well, probably a land, huh? So I'd have double red for the fireball. I'll take the two. Oh yeah, what format, uh, Cody? Lander, love it. That sounds fucking awesome, actually. Jesus fucking Christ. You could pitch cast the Pyrokinesis from Exile, yeah. They could have Solitude here for me. But at least I would get my life back home.
If you attack the Gideon, they get to keep one more thing. I don't know. Maybe it's better. Another land would have been awesome, huh? We have to play at the Halfling here to not be dead on board. But if we could have gone like land, FTK the Knight, that would have been better. Dead to a path. So hopefully they don't have that. They did not. Sweet. Cool. Who needs this? Who needs a third land, huh? Not us, apparently. This natural order is very bad because our targets for natural order are gruff triplets and crater hoof. I'm gonna send it back. This hand needs some help, but it knows what it's about. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Come on, Emmy. Come on. It's a cool forest. No. <laughs> Is this how we die? Not with a roar, but with a whimper. Papa Cugs coming to party. So close, close game. Oh shit, what up? Hey, firefighter, thinks about 38 months. Hell yeah. Y'all excited for Antali to flip over an Emmy? It is not a turn two at all, aim. Only have four mana on turn two. Turn three, though. Might not even play the Soul Ring on two. Might make it vulnerable to a Shatter Effect. Yeah, I think I like chilling on it. Very cool, truth is one. One of the iffy things about my current cube is that the um, the soul rings don't match. I kind of wonder if I'm even supposed to cast this through the breach. Yeah, this is this is too good. I'm sorry. We can just cast a tall yet another turn or whatever, right? We can sneak it here anyway. <laughs> the Wall of Roots is unexciting, but I once upon a time might find me something else for sneak, huh? It did not, in fact, do that. Who oh boy. Well... Get my seven damage in here anyway. You think that's the worst Atali hit you've ever seen? You haven't seen me play this card very much. <laughs> I've seen Atali show up on like reanimator tier lists, just like, oh, it's like one of the best things. And I'm like, we, we, you and me are not playing this card the same way. <laughs> Hmm. Atali, hit your talisman. Hit my talisman. Flip over Chrome Mox. No cards to imprint. It's played in standard. Yeah, I'm just talking about Atali and Cube here. 
the slower the four man, like the less like fast mana cards in the four man, the better it gets. Or like niche cards that are only certain, serving like a really narrow purpose in one deck. Like standard doesn't have a green sun zenith, you could hit off their deck with a tolly, right? And... Looks like my opponent's deck is rolling here, huh? Kind of knew this was going to happen if I snuck it, snuck the Atali out instead of just waiting to cast it. Because we could have just won by just, <laughs> just beating them down with a 7-7, seven, seven, right? Yeah. Well, Emrakul's no longer live. That one is very live, however. The Titan does have reach. Opponent's Titan of Industry. So they can chump my triple get Titan with it. Not what they want to do, of course. Oh, uh, that's way better. Well, I guess this is the Crater Hoof waiting room then. We also have Natural Order for Hoof. Yeah, I might only have one turn to hit, huh? To hit Hoof here. I don't think we've been Natural Order off the Once Upon a Time, though. Be nice to be bailed out. This would also be a fitting uh, way to lose, though. The complete Atali whiff. God, they had so many juicy hits, too. Cuggling all that. Can we live for another turn? I don't think so. At least not enough to kill them with hoof on the crack bank. GG's. That Pyrokinesis was sick, too. Oh, well. Alrighty, folks. That's going to do it. Here we are, 11.40 p.m. Is anyone streaming Cube for me to raid? Much love, everybody. Thanks for uh, thanks for showing up. Thanks for watching some Magic the Gathering. Tomorrow I'm going to be jamming some um, 